This year, or to be more specific, this week, my husband left his job as a nurse to pursue a career outside of the medical field. Now, I could get into the specifics of how and why this happened in his chart and in my chart from an astrological perspective, and technically I will because this is the exact same astrology that's impacting millions of people and causing so many people to resign and leave their jobs right now. But before we get into that, I just want to give a little bit of a background about this great resignation and what's going on here so we're all on the same page. And before I do, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss an important astrology update. And um, yeah, like this video, comment, and share it with your friends. And so let's get into this. So basically what's going on right now is that we have record numbers of people leaving their jobs and resigning from whatever work they're doing across multiple different sectors, especially in the service-based industries and in the medical field and things like that. But really it's across the board. People are fed up with what they're doing and they're leaving their jobs. And I'm sure that many of you who are watching this video are in the same boat. And so um, some of the statistics that I looked at show that literally in April alone in the United States, 4 million people or over 4 million people resigned from their jobs. And that's a really, really high number apparently compared to what we normally see. Last year, we saw like a dip in people leaving their jobs. And this year it's like accelerated, it's sky high. Um, another, some other statistics that I looked at actually were some polls that were taken that were looking at how many people not only left their jobs, but were planning to leave their jobs at some point in 2021. And this is actually as we're already into 2021, right? I'm recording this in August. And so Basically, uh, 26 to 40% of people, depending on the poll and depending on the country, were are and were planning to leave their jobs in 2021. That's a lot of people. If 40% of people quit their jobs this year, I mean, that's huge, right? That's very disruptive. And it fits with the energy that we're seeing astrologically, which is what I'm about to get into here. And so I'm going to approach this topic from more of a personal astrological perspective, not meaning from my own personal life, but um, when it comes to personal individual astrology, as opposed to mundane astrology, which looks at at more global societal and world events. Although I will touch on the mundane astrology because it's part of it. And I will, um, you know, get into that a little bit more and make some predictions as to how long this will last and what's coming up ahead at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around until the end if you're interested in that. But I'm basing a lot of what I'm saying here off of what I've seen personally with my clients, students, friends, family members, and even a little bit in my own life and in the life of my husband, who I mentioned before, has just left his job. Um, and so that's what we're going to be looking at here. So hopefully this will help you to understand what's going on if you are feeling restless, if you're feeling like you want to leave your career, and it'll help you to understand what's going on a little bit more as a society, what we're all going through as sort of a collective, right? Because we're we're all humans and we're all experiencing these energies, these big global transformations that have been going on astrologically uh, together, right? We're all experiencing these in our own individual ways. And so basically we have to kind of back it up and rewind in order to fully understand what's going on this year by looking at obviously 2020 and the COVID-19 pandemic and what occurred there astrologically. And so many of you are probably already aware if you're into astrology and this isn't your first astrology video, this isn't your first rodeo as they say, um, that we had Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter all forming a conjunction on and off throughout the entire year in 2020 in the sign of Capricorn. This was a big energy. When we see these Pluto Saturn conjunctions, we see a vying for power. We see a lot of a lot of limitations, restrictions, um, tightening of the reins. Uh, we also, with that Pluto Jupiter conjunction, see mass redistributions of wealth that's happened, you know, uh, more than once throughout history. And so we saw this combination of energies playing out in a very new and very different way to create what we have right now. And so during that time on a personal level, it was impacting people in a very specific way. Saturn and Pluto both rule fear. 
right? And so Saturn traditionally is the planet that rules fear and Pluto in modern Western astrology has that association with our deepest fears, our deepest anxieties. And so first and foremost, one of the things that was very much amplified with Jupiter, which is an expansive energy, right? It expands, it it grows, whatever it touches, the good, the bad, the ugly, even though it's technically a benefic planet. And it was not in its best position in the sign of Capricorn. So I'll say that as well. So it wasn't as strong as it normally would have been. And so one of the things that Jupiter expanded on and grew uh, was the Pluto-Saturn signification of fear, right? And so we had people kind of going in different directions with that. Some people were afraid of losing their jobs, right? During a time of really great uncertainty where we were facing something that we've never faced before. Other people were on the opposite end of the spectrum where they were more afraid of their health, right, being compromised. They were more afraid of what was going on and what they were being told about this pandemic. And so we had on two sides of the spectrum here, some people actually leaving their jobs or thinking about leaving their jobs because of the pandemic and a lot of people staying home, a lot of people being laid off or, you know, being forced to work from home. And then the other end of the spectrum, we had people holding on for dear life to anything in their life that seems stable and solid during a time of great uncertainty. And so people were not actually leaving their jobs by choice as much as they normally would be because it was this really crazy situation, right? And so that's kind of more in a broad general sense. And so the other thing that was going on was that there was this very strong Pluto emphasis, right? And anytime we have Pluto aspecting an area of our charts, it causes us to have to really get clear and focus in on what we truly and deeply desire. Pluto is all about our desires. And with Pluto in the sign of Capricorn, not even looking at these other planetary energies, it was about figuring out what structures in our lives were in alignment with our truth, were in alignment with our desires. And purging, right? That's another Pluto thing, purging and getting rid of anything that was not that. It doesn't mean that we purged it and threw it out all at once because Saturn was in the mix, right? Saturn causes us to have to do things the right way and not the fast way. And so we couldn't just throw out our responsibilities and just go crazy, right? And leave a giant mess for other people to clean up. We also had to really reflect on what structures were really stable and really solid that we wanted to hold on to versus what structures we actually needed to purge. We actually needed to get away from. We actually needed to let go of. That Saturn and Pluto combination is a big purge. It's a big cleansing. And it's a cleansing of rules, regulations, responsibilities, burdens that we're carrying that we shouldn't be carrying, right? That we don't want and that are not in alignment with our core truth and our core desires. And so last year, we all had a chance where we all had a chance to reflect on that and we were pretty much forced to across the board, right? We had these really crazy, really uncertain times. People were fearful on all ends of the spectrum of one thing or another, depending on, you know, kind of where your belief system lies. And it it was really time to take stock of things. People were at home. People were, you know, not out and about. People were not as distracted by other things, even though there were a lot of new distracting things going on. And so people got very clear. And I was seeing that with my clients too. People are figuring out like, oh my gosh, you know, like I spend all my time at work and now that I'm at home, my home life is actually a giant disaster. I need to purge some things. I need to think about this. I need to figure out what I truly desire here. Or, oh my goodness, I was out doing all this stuff and keeping myself busy and I didn't realize my relationship needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of attention. Maybe I need to go to couples therapy or I need to maybe get rid of the relationship entirely. Um, The same thing was happening for people with their work, right? It was like, okay, now I have this time away from this and I'm not doing it in the same way and I'm realizing the way I was doing it was a burden. It was toxic. It was something that I need to detox moving forward. Well, this year, the energy provided ample opportunity for that. And so it still is, and it still will be for a little bit of time. So this year we have Saturn squaring Uranus, right? Saturn has moved into the sign of Aquarius. It's no longer in Capricorn. And we have Uranus in the sign of Taurus where it's been for a few years now. And they've been forming a square on and off throughout the entire year. It's been strongest at the start of the year of this summer, and it'll be very strong again at the end of the year um, in you know uh, November, December. And so basically what this has been doing is it's been really showing us where we have cracks in the foundations of some areas 
area of our life where things are not as stable as we thought or things are um, not as good as we thought they were, right? So basically wherever this is showing up in your chart, you're seeing where your foundation is not solid, or maybe instead of your foundation is very solid, but instead of building yourself a foundation for something that provides freedom and joy and sustainability and whatever it is that you actually wanted to create, you built yourself the foundation for a cage or a box and you are stuck, right? And people are feeling that frustration with the boxes that they've created for or built for themselves, with the structures they've created that are not serving them. And this is across the board, not just in career, right? Career is a big component when we're talking about Saturn because Saturn rules um, corporations, hierarchies. Um, It literally rules physical structures and things like that as well, but it does have that association with work, right? Saturn is work. And so again, we're seeing that kind of on a global scale and on an individual level, but this is really anywhere in your life that it's being touched by this Saturn Uranus square, which is happening in the fixed signs, right? And so if you're having this Saturn Uranus square, particularly in any of your angular houses, which are the first, the fourth, the seventh, and the 10th, you might be feeling restless or you might have already made a career change or started making moves toward making a career change this year. If you have this Saturn Uranus um, energy in a conjunction or in any aspect really with your 10th house or your midheaven in particular, um, you might be feeling that push. You might be feeling that frustration. You might be feeling like, oh my gosh, I thought this was solid. I thought this was what I wanted, but look, this is a disaster now because um, in addition to you know, what's going on internally and what we are reflecting on and what, what we are having disrupted kind of on a personal level or an internal level, the external circumstances have disrupted a lot of different fields, right? A lot of different, um, job markets, a lot of different areas when it comes to the work that we do out in the world. And it's showing us, Hey, I thought this was solid. I thought I could do this forever, but this little thing came in and, you know, we were missing this part to this car or missing this one thing in the supply chain, or we had to close down, you know, for this time because of COVID, or now there's these new rules that we have to abide by. And guess what? It's not what I thought it was anymore. It's not solid, right? It's that Uranus energy. Uranus causes disruption. It causes discord. It causes chaos. It shakes things up and liberates us. And then we have Saturn, which is the rules, regulations, restrictions that we have to abide by or the responsibilities that we've taken on. And so you can see that combination of energy where Uranus is disrupting um, these things that we once thought were solid from an external vantage point, but also internally because we're feeling that frustration, that need to move on. It feels like, you know, time is limited and we have to kind of rearrange and get where we need to go. And Saturn also rules time and time has been feeling, um, you know, as, as kind of woo woo as this sounds, time has been feeling odd and disrupted, especially this year. I was, I've been talking to many friends about this particular circumstance where it feels like we're kind of like rushing, but also delayed at the same time. And it feels like we're kind of being forced at certain pivotal moments to jump headfirst into something that we knew was coming that we knew we were going to change or do, but it's like, we don't feel prepared. It's, we're not ready, but we're kind of being forced into this hole and we just have to figure out how we can fit. And that's a lot of the energy this year, kind of in general. Um, But basically, kind of going back to the energy of the Saturn Uranus and how that's showing up in your chart. So like I mentioned before, 10th house, um, midheaven, angular houses, but also if it's hitting the ruler, so the planet that rules the sign that your midheaven is in, or if it's rule or hitting the ruler of your um, 10th house in general. And so the 10th house as I mentioned before, um, is uh, the the house that is associated with career and public reputation. The Midheaven also has that association. It's not always in the 10th house. And if you want to learn more about your uh, Midheaven placement, I have a video right here. If you want to learn more about your um, 10th house ruler and your Midheaven ruler, I have a video right here to help you kind of learn a little bit more about um, what's going on in your own chart and what might actually be suitable for you in terms of a new career and vocation. And for those of you who are having these disruptive energies in your charts right now, and you're like, I'm ready to leave, but I don't know where to go. um, I'm actually doing an in-depth webinar on August 28th. It'll be available recorded after the fact, if you're watching this later, all about career and vocational astrology, about aligning your chart with your dream job. And I'm super excited to announce that we are actually offering this for the cosmic community. And you can 
uh, claim a seven day free trial membership right now at the link down in the description below. So you can actually access this webinar and learn about your personal astrology and what it means for your career choices, what it means for your ability to be successful, what you need to align with to be successful and satisfied in your career. And so Again, that link is down in the description below. It's a beginner to intermediate uh, level um, astrology webinar and course. And so again, down in the description below, super excited, free trial membership. Um, but there are a couple of other things that you can kind of look at too. So like if you have this energy of Saturn and Uranus in your sixth house, which is the house of work and daily routines and daily habits and that type of thing in your work relationships, your work environment, you might be making some changes there. Um, if you have it aspecting Saturn and Uranus, your sixth house ruler. So the planet that rules the sign that, um, um, occupies your sixth house, then you might be feeling this disruption too. It can come about in many, many, many different ways. And that's why many, many people are starting to notice the cracks in their foundation for their work life. Um, and they're starting to make these changes, right? There's a lot of different significations that could indicate that on a personal level. And so again, what I've seen with my clients, with my students, with my friends, my family members, everyone who's like changing and leaving jobs is that specifically the Saturn Uranus energy is hitting one of those planets or points in their chart. And they're feeling that crunch. They're feeling that frustration. They're feeling like they need to liberate themselves from something and do something that's going to provide them with the freedom, with the excitement, with the momentum that they want or the ability to make changes, right? Because we're looking at this energy of Saturn in the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius is very humanitarian. It's about not just what's good for you, but what's good for all concerned. And that's another thing people are thinking about. Like, is my job meaningful? And do I get meaning from, you know, helping others or bettering society, bettering humanity in some way through this position? How is what I'm doing impacting not just me and not just everyone around me, but everyone for generations to come? And if it's impacting people in a way that you feel is negative, um, now's a time where people are noticing that and they're like, all right, I can no longer compromise, um, you know, these certain ideals. I can no longer compromise what it is that I'm doing here. I can't, I can't work with this anymore. And part of that's also because Jupiter's in Aquarius, and Jupiter's about our morals and ethical value systems and ideals. And Jupiter's just dipped back into Aquarius. It left in May. It came back in June. Um, it's going to be there until the end of December. So I actually think we'll probably see more people even, um, you know, branching out and looking for more freedom and changing and shifting their work environment, their work in general, their career path to something that is more in alignment with their ideals and how they can help and better the world during a lot of really craziness, change and uncertainty that's going to be lasting for, um, you know, many years to come to be perfectly honest. But in terms of what's going on with this uh, great resignation. So the Saturn-Uranus square is going to continue to exist and um, be a big influence through the start of 2022. After that period, it's going to still be um, an influence, but it's not going to be as strong. So I don't think we're going to see this like mass exodus that we're seeing right now after the start of 2022. I think people will they'll still be elevated and people will still be rearranging, but this is like the, the crunch time right now. Um, and, you know, people will still be doing that rearranging. They'll be do, making those changes. They'll be leaving their jobs and their careers and changing things up at least, I would say, till 2023. And that's when Saturn starts to leave the sign of Aquarius and um, is no longer making even a sign-based aspect with Uranus. And I think that's when people will start to settle in again. Um, but it is going to continue for quite some time. I think the job market will be like this for quite some time with my limited understanding of um, you know mundane astrology. It's not my area of expertise, but just based on what I'm seeing on a personal level and how people are reacting to this and how this is going to continue to play out <laughs> for you know a little while longer, at least several months, if not, you know, another year. And so, um, that's what I'm seeing here. And so I hope you found this information helpful. If you did make sure you comment below. Also, if you're like planning on leaving your job or if you're seeking out a new career, what field were you in and what field are you looking to get into? I'm super fascinated by this because so many people I know, and so many of my clients and so many of my students are looking to change career paths. And again, if that's you, 
Make sure you uh, sign up for that seven-day free trial membership of my Cosmic Community so you can attend the webinar all about career and vocation, aligning your birth chart with your dream job. Again, down in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Also, make sure you check out these free videos if you want more uh, astrology knowledge about career. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, and I will see you again. Bye, everyone.